All right, hi everyone. Um, just bringing you a quick update on my little project here. Uh, this is the Motorola Astro Spectra uh, Consulate case, and I've taken out the old Astro Spectra, and here's the control head, and this is how it connected to the uh, to the actual radio unit. Um, but these radios are getting old. Uh, they're hard to program. They're hard to use. Uh, and I had the Spectra uh, Consulate laying around, and I thought, you know, why don't I convert it um, and put a newer radio in it? Um, first off, I had to change the power supply. It only had a 14 amp power supply before, so I upgraded it with this um, uh, Chinese eBay uh, 30 amp power supply. Um, these things are okay if you're just going to use it on VHF. Um, probably wouldn't use it on an HF rig or anything. Uh, this is an XPR 40, 4550, 4550, I guess. Um, pretty good radio. It was in my car for several years. I just didn't really use it that much, so I decided to take it out of the car. Uh, it's got the uh, microphone with the keypad on there. Um, and one thing I had to do is I had to create my own bracket for this uh, control head. And it does use the remote mount unit and has the remote mount cable that loops around and then comes back and connects into the actual radio unit. I um, have a little power strip there. Uh, there's a couple of things. The uh, radio needs power, obviously. We need to power the fan. And there's also a light up here um, for the uh, power on off indicator. Uh, there's also a speaker, which I will connect to the accessory port when I get a chance or when I when I'm able to look at the little pins that go in there. Um, but overall, the unit works pretty well. And I'll show you here. You just flip it on. And you can hear the fan, which is pretty loud. But it gets quieter once you put the um, top on. And right now we're listening to Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department. And I'm just connected to a really crappy little mag mount antenna, which works pretty well, surprisingly. But, yeah, no real issues. It's a great unit, and uh, if anyone's looking to convert their uh, old Spectre Consulate to fit one of these uh, motor turbo radios, just uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help you out. Um, overall, it was a very easy conversion. Um, the mounts uh, fit perfectly on the radio. Well, I did have to put in little spacers here. Um, washers, but other than that it worked just fine. Um, I had to create this little ba bracket system here, but that was pretty easy. Just used some uh, L brackets and drilled it into the plastic below. Um, now if you're able to find a, a consulate that has um, a VHF, a high power VHF radio installed, you won't have to do this. It'll come with a power supply that's powerful enough, but the power supply that originally came with this unit was only rated for like 14 amps or something, but this radio takes I think 15 amps or something. So just to be safe, I had this one laying around. I thought might as well put it in there. Um, and this one's not like an ATX power supply, which is what came with uh, the unit. It's much easier to control and modify uh, if you do want to change some things around. I have this resistor here, sandbar resistor here, uh, to go to the fan. Otherwise, the fan just is crazy, uh, the speed. Um, kept all the uh, hardware for the uh, mains electricity. And you know, it works fine, no real issues. Um, this power supply itself is not the safest unit in the world, but you know, as long as you're not touching it or you don't have anything, you know, any metal objects over the area, it, it, it's going to be fine. Um, had to install this little switch here. This one didn't come with a switch. It actually came with a little um, cover where the hole is. Now, some of them do have switches. Now, if it did have this original switch in there, I probably would have just used that, but I installed a little toggle switch, and if you shut it off, it, it'll it shut off as well. If you turn it on, it'll come right on. And yeah, overall, a really good unit. Um, still have to find the uh, UHF plug that fits, that screws onto here, and then it'll look much more complete after I do that. But anyways, feel free to leave comments if you, if you have any questions about this, and uh, let me know how you think.